Welcome back. So, uh, Klaus done. Now we are trying to create a tree. We are jump back for our project. Just now we are finishing this cloud. So I no need it anymore. Uh, just select this meta ball, select all these rounds, uh, randoms. After that, push Alt G on your keyboard and you will get a null object. Double click for this null object and rename cloud. Okay, we have this cloud. What we will do now? As you can see, close to this cloud, you have two small dots. Uh, select this for red and select this for red. So we are hide my cloud and we are not see it anymore. What we will do now? Go for camera and disable it. Very good. We have like this. Now it's moving. How to create a tree? Select primitives and going for cube. We have like this cube. To see a lines, going for display, going for quick shading line. You will get like these lines. So now reduce a size somewhere like this. I don't know, maybe for only for two centimeters and increase segments. As you can see, like this, we create one segments, one more segments and somewhere on the middle, something like that. So you have to receive like that result. We have one, two, three, four, five, six segments in our small cube. So select this cube, go for this panel and push make editable object. Push like this. So as you can see, now our cube become be editable. What does mean? It's mean if we are pushing here, we can check and we can change any, any our points. So select here, hold and put rectangle selection. For example, I like to take, take this, hold shift on my keyboard and take this. To these points, I uh, sorry, for these points, I like to transfer to the center. I'm going for these tools and take this tool scale. And you can see what you can do. You can scale something like that. Very nice. Then select and put it a little bit like this. So we have some corner. Very nice. What we will do now like this you can uh, check or like this, it doesn't matter, like this, like this, select this, shift, select this, scale, and put something like here. What now? Now push a middle button on the screen or push here and go for top view. From top view, you can select this, you can select shift this and make it a little bit small, smaller. Then select here, here, make a little bit smaller. Now we are making one leaf. Maybe, maybe I take this and a little bit back, just a little bit. You see? Very nice. What now? Now I select this middle points and from front view, I little bit pick up it. Something like that. You see what I get? I get like this result. Looks like very nice. What I will do now? Now I take these points, put little bit down, take these points, little bit down. little bit, something like that. So look at this. I have one leaf and it looks like very nice. Not necessary to make more segments. This for, for us absolutely enough. So when you are finished, you have to push again this model. And now we are not uh, edit any more points or edges or polygons, doesn't matter, something like that. 
and as you can see center of my object is here but i like to transfer these coordinates exactly here because if i move now you can you can see it's moving on the center but it's not so good for me so how to do it we are going for these options enable axis just push it and you can see you receive some small result just take it and push somewhere here yes and just moment ah sorry one more time we are push it somewhere here okay like this okay very nice so and now what i get if i move it you see now is good result for me so one lead is done what we will do now as you remember we have my mograph cloner so going for mograph going for cloner and put my leaf inside in this cloner you see how it's going so my cloner will get some additional result some lines but i don't need lines i like to receive something around something in the center for this reason i going for primitives and create a sphere like this you see the sphere have like uh, like a polygons and here it's very small polygons but here it's very big polygons how to change it you're going for sphere going for object and type open and you have many many different types you can push step by step and check what is going on but for me now we are going for icosahedron very difficult name for me like this looks like very nice now we are going for segments and decrease this quantity for 12 only just receive like this you see what i have i have a sphere with uh, absolutely similar each to other polygons for what i needed now we are going back for cloner and inside in the mod we have to choose a object not line not radial object you see everything changed so you have object is empty so just take my sphere and put inside in the object as you can see i get some very strange result how to use it so distribution where i will get a clone my distribution will be on the vertex it's mean on each point i will get like these leaves you see what is going on so but i don't like how this leaves uh, looking i i not understood where they looking so for this reason we are going for transform and here just play a little bit for 90 degrees open your leaves as you can see all leaves 90 degrees from my sphere and it looks like very nice it already looks like something like a tree so of course we will try to render it again going for this empty window double click and we are getting new material apply this material for my cloner and apply this material for my sphere which is inside then open it go here go for color yeah i don't need any reflection go for color and choose uh, something like a green maybe something like that maybe just a little bit bright render yeah before render we are going back for options we no need for a moment any save and we need only current frame yeah just for testing so render and i get like this result looks like very nice but it's not too much leaves so how to increase quantity of these leaves as you remember my cloner make clone of these leaves for each vertex how to increase quantity of vertexes so we are going for sphere and segments we are increase 
maybe for 18, just little bit. And you see, automatically I get more leaves. Maybe we are increased for 20. You see, I get like this. So render now, and now result much better. So maybe I'll keep like this. But I like to receive some randomize of color. So how to do it? We are going for this material and select a color and inside in the color we have some texture. So you can use any texture what you like or you can push the small triangle and apply some gradient. As you can see, now my leaves, I render again, have some gradient from gray up to white. Uh, again, depend what color of you need, what color of trees you need, you will play with this gradient or any other uh, textures, it's up to you. So, now how to edit this gradient? Just push this gradient button and it's open it. So, what we will do? Select this and change for maybe like a dark green, something like that. Select here and change something for light green, something like that. After that, you have a type. So as you can see, you have some different type and each type give you some different result. For example, I change like this di diagonal. You see, for example, was like this, now like this, it depends what you need. But for my tutorial, I like to use something, maybe some spherical we will try to check. You see, ants will be some, have some color. Oh, but I like to use four color. Mm, no, just a moment. Yeah, star. Something like star. Maybe I will change a little bit for... For this color, something like that or maybe a little bit red color. I just show you basic idea how to render. Yeah, you see, it looks like very nice. It looks like autumn time. It depend, absolutely depend what you like to receive from these trees. Okay, so what we can do now? I will go back for dark green. Uh, what we will do now? Now we are create uh, now we are create cylinder. We are going for primitives. We are going for cylinder. And I cannot see because it's behind of the trees. Uh, I put the cylinder somewhere down, somewhere here. What I will do now, go to camera and enable it. Okay, what I can do, see. Take the sphere, put up. Camera, go a little bit back. Okay, something like that. Take this cylinder and put somewhere here. So, again, we are going for options of this cylinder. We have radius, which I reduce maybe something like a 20. We have high. Maybe I increase something like that. Maybe a little bit more. Maybe will be 450. Something like this. Okay, very good. So, what next? High segments. As you can see, I haven't any segments. So, increase to, you see, a lines coming, yeah? 3, 4, 5, I don't know, I will use something like a 10, 10 different segments. Very good. What next? Rotation segments, I no need too much, I just reduce for 12, just receive like this result. After that, select this cylinder, going for this panel and push make editable. Now I can edit any points of this cylinder. So I'm going for points or vertexes, going for this tool, select it, downstairs, middle click on mouse, going for top view, as you can see it's here, yes, selected. Select the scale tool and increase this radius. Something like that. Okay. And go back for model. What I get, I will get like this result. And it already looks like very nice. What now? Double click on this area. Take material. Apply this material for my cylinder. 
going for settings, I no need any reflection, I need color, and from this color I'll use something like a gray. Yeah, if you like you can use some again text to ramp, it's up to you. So I keep like this. Render and check what I get. I get already something like a very interesting animation, cartoon tree. But I like to receive some randomize also for this uh, cylinder. So what I'll do, select cylinder. After that, go for this panel and from this tools, hold, open and select a displacer tool. Just select like this. After that, take this displacer tool and make like a child of this cylinder, drag and drop. As you can see, displacer become a child of my cylinder, like this. Go for displacer tool, go for shading, and here shader, push on this small uh, small uh, triangle, and choice choice a uh, noise. As you can see, my cylinder now have some, some noise. So render it and check. Now you, I get some very interesting result, you see. Okay, but I like to animate it. I like to receive any frame, different shading of this, uh, different shading of this displacer. So how to do it? Uh, select this noise and left click. You open a setting of this noise and as you can see one of the settings it is animation speed. So just take it and increase I don't know 100 or 1000 it's, it's really it doesn't matter but it should be very big points not one not two. And now if, if you go for any frames you can see my uh, displacer have effect for the cylinder every frame. You see, and it looks like very nice. So I like also to receive randomize for my trees, for my leaves. As you remember, we can use a random effector for MoGraph. Again, select cloner, go for MoGraph, go to effector and select a random effector. As you can see, coming something strange. So we are going inside. First of all, we are change random mode for turbulence speed 4000 to receive a very fast speed after that we are going for parameters and in this moment i no need any position so just disable it but i need some scale go for scale and if you are select uniform you will check uh, you will change a scale for full object uh, with same quantity for x y z but I like to receive different quantities. So I put X 0.75, Y 75 and Z 75, something like that. It's mean every frame, every frame from X will be random from zero up to 75. Every frame will be random from Y up to 75 and from Z up to 0.75. As you can see, it's moving like this. Looks like very nice. But I also, as you can see, direction of these leaves not change uh, some rotation, yes? How to change it? We are going for rotation, again, random rotation, and just play, you see. Rotation will be like this, we don't need it. Zero, maybe rotation like this. Okay, we need this rotation. So just make 360, doesn't matter. Every frame from 360 will get a different random random number. Okay, what I get? I get like this result. And it's very nice. It's really very nice. So again, when it's done, we are going for render settings, we are going for output, we are select how many trees I need from 0 up to 9. Don't forget frame rate 24. We are going for save options. Just enable it. 
And as you remember, we already have this address. Just go here and create a trees. All other we will keep like before. Just check a previous tutorial. Close and render. As you can see, every frame I'll get a different tree. It's not necessary to draw manually. It will come in very, very fast. Also, don't forget, you can save this result. And for any of your future game, you just change a color. For example, I go in here, going for gradient and change autumn time. Just take something yellow and something red. Something like that. Okay, just change like this. Render again. Yeah, override, doesn't matter. And it's already autumn time, yellow trees, and it's coming so very fast. So we are check our final result. We are going here. You remember this folder tutorial. And this hour, just a moment, we have to wait a little bit. Yeah, we already have some clouds and we already have some trees. I just open it and you can see we have a different clouds, we have a different trees with any color what you like. So for a moment, this tutorial with trees, I finish it. See you in next one lesson. Goodbye, friends.